to help you protect yourself, your children, your elderly relatives, loved ones, and friends to the rescue. Medical contributor Dr. Peter Lin, Happy New Year to you. And Happy thank New you for Year, helping too, too. us with this story. It's an important one because we're talking minus 35 or colder. We're really into the danger zone here, aren't we? Yes. And basically what's happening is that your body is going to try and protect you. And so when you go out in the cold, it shuts off the circulation to your fingers and your toes. Uh, your nose will be exposed. Your, your ears will be shut off as well. And that's trying to keep the core temperature so that you survive. Okay. Now, and unfortunately, what happens is that the skin starts to freeze. And so all those little water that's inside the cells become crystals. And so that's why the first thing that will happen is that your finger gets very hard and it'll go white. So okay. initially... Stop for just a second. Yeah. So, so this is what happens when the body's exposed to these mm -hmm. extremely cold temperatures. How many minutes are we taking? How quickly does this happen? Yeah, it's interesting. The advisory say 10 minutes, but we've had people where they're outside, let's say, just pumping gas, for example, and they can start feeling their fingers because you're now touching metal. So now I think the warning is no exposed skin at all outside because basically as soon as the circulation stops, there's no heat. And so now water will just crystallize as ice. And so therefore it can begin actually quite quickly. Okay, so uh, what do you watch for? Ah, so basically what we do is we want to check for the color, but most of us, they don't, we don't take off our gloves to stare at our fingers, right? But the basic color will be, first of all, it's normal color, well, let's then it goes red. Let's bring some pictures red. here because we yes. actually have some pictures. I hope this uh, of there are treating people being of, yes, treated treating of frostbite, frostbite, but uh, we might actually see some signs here of, of what it actually, there we are there. Well, there's the aftermath, the aftermath of this, aftermath you of it, see. Right? But well, So this is the aftermath. So. Let's ignore these just for a moment sure. here. So what we're talking about, what do you look, if you've been out exposed to the cold and you're concerned, what are the warning signs? You might have something to worry about that you might have frostbite. Sure, a couple of things. The first thing is the color, if you can see your fingers. So the first thing we'll do is normal color, then it goes a little red, then it actually goes white as things are freezing over. And then it goes black as you're sort of damaging the tissue underneath and starting to kill off all the cells. Then it actually becomes black tips that we see uh, in some of the photos. And what happens is that your nerves also die at the same time so in other words they stop working so initially you'll get tingly and then it'll just go numb and then you don't feel anything and that's why you stay out in the cold and then eventually the nerves don't send you any information at all so for us we tell people look for softness so in other words if your finger is still pulpy that's okay it means that nothing has frozen if you're still feeling the cold that's good if you're starting to feel tingly it means the nerves are already affected and then if you can see the color of course use that but go with the firmness Okay. and also the tingly. And then if you do notice any of those signs, what then do you do? Get inside and warm up to body temperature. So the key thing is not too hot. People start doing fires and stoves and hot water and things like that. Now you're going beyond normal temperature and now you're gonna damage the skin even further. So a lot of times if you can't get to a warmer, stick your hands in your armpits, then basically mm -hmm. that'll be helpful uh, because that's body really? temperature. Okay. Uh, in the hospitals, what they do is they use warm water that's body temperature. So basically body temperature water that will circulate around your hands to warm them up. So we do want to warm you up, but just to the temperature of your body and no rubbing because people start rubbing so imagine all those crystals you start rubbing them they all damage more cells so I just rubbing is not a good idea okay that's exactly what you do when you're trying to exactly. warm up don't so you, you once rub it's your frozen hands. that's not a good don't thing do that do. if it's frozen but we've talked about hospital we obviously saw people being treated this is something that if left unattended that can require medical attention it can lead to amputation it's not something to be taken lightly is it exactly because the circulation gets damaged mm -hmm. and all of a sudden when you revascularize or reheat everything the blood flow comes in but it's all leaky so now you get swelling, you get blisters, Yeesh. and sometimes the toes actually are dead, so they have to amputate to avoid infection. Okay, let's avoid all of this. Give us some tips as people are going to be exposed in the next couple of days to these extreme temperatures, how to be uh, attentive to protect ourselves from this extreme cold. Yeah, best is to stay out if you can, but let's say you have to go out. Uh, dress in multiple layers, because the more heat you can trap in your core, then the more you can send out to your fingers and toes and things like that. Number two is mittens are better. So you know those snowmobile ones that are yes. waterproof and things like that, because then your fingers are together and they're not gonna lose as much heat. Uh, and then finally, no exposed skin at all. So forget about the 10 minutes or anything, no exposed skin at all, meaning your face as well. So cover up if you're gonna be out there. Dr. Lin, very helpful. Thank you very much. We need your advice this weekend.